Hey, it's Mike with Fleetwood RV. Today we got an opportunity to take a look at the second Frontier floor plan. This is a 36 SS, 340 horsepower built on an XCR chassis, an Aquahot 250D all electric coach, and plus 190 cubic feet of storage in the basement area. So here's the 36 SS. And if you've not had a chance to see the 34 GT video we posted last week, we'll post a link of that up here and also a link to it down in the description. But as we look at the front of this unit, the Frontier has a very aggressive front cap with all the black inlays, the chrome accents that surround the lights. We have the LED accent strips right here. It gives it a real nice look. The large panoramic windshield and top mounted windshield wipers. That way we are working with gravity we want to keep that windshield clear as possible when traveling down the road. Have the large black mirrors. These are heated and they are electric. We have our cameras mounted on the top of the mirror. Again, this is keeping those cameras up high, safe, out of the splash zone. This way they're not getting loaded up with the road grime and they are a benefit to you. As you can see out of them, the whole front of this unit is covered in diamond shield. So you don't have to worry about the car in front of you throwing rocks out the front of your unit, chipping up your paint. Moving back, we have our illuminated grab bar. And again, the Frontier is built on the Fleetwood Freedom Sport Foundation. I'll post a picture of that up here as well. That is basically a big, massive steel structure that's gonna saddle the rails of the Freightliner XCR chassis. It's going to make your unit a lot more stable. It allows us to put the larger slide out boxes in it and the heavier appliances. They're all riding on the Michelin 275 80 22.5 inch aluminum AccuRide wheels. We have dual fuel fills. Right up above, we have our exterior entertainment center. This is on a swivel, so we can pull it out. And no matter where the sun's positioned or where you're positioned underneath your patio, you still have a great viewing angle of your TV. And just so you know, I'm 5'8", and I can reach the TV door just fine. Our first compartment is just storage. We have the FRP bottom, it's highly durable, and you don't have to worry about it getting all stained up, scratched, ripping carpet, or collecting mold or anything like that. This compartment here is pretty impressive. As we mentioned, we have 190 cubic feet of storage in this basement. We have our XCR rails right above. We have a 90 inch slide tray that goes the full length of the unit. This can be accessed from either side of the unit as well. So if you're on the other side, we can pull it out there as well. The blue lever pulls it out push or pull the yellow lever and that lets it go back in the french style doors makes getting large bulky items in a cinch next compartment is an addition to those other two that we just seen i'll actually post a little video of us pulling an eight foot kayak out of these luggage compartments and right here again more storage and we do have our central vac system there as well great part of teaming up with freightliner is they've mastered the ride of these motorhomes one of their amenities that they use is the v-ride so the v-rides not just the v-bars that go on the top of the rear end it's actually a whole u-shaped cradle that stabilizes this unit takes almost all that sway out from left to right backing out of uneven uh, driveways, taking curves when a semi blows past you. You don't have all that sway that makes you feel like you're losing control of your unit. Next compartment is electrical. We have our solar controller. We have our digital readout for our solar in here as well. This particular unit has the 300 watt solar panel and we have a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter in here and our inverter disconnect. So if you're not using your unit, you're storing it, make sure uh, we have that inverter disconnect off. 
And the last compartment, we have all of our components at the bottom that helps us meet the emission standards. And we have our hydraulic reservoir for our four point automatic leveling system. Coming into the back, you see that aggressive stance, that aggressive look carries on to this rear cap as well with all of the body lines in it. We have our two piece ladder, makes it safe. You don't have to worry about the kids at the campground climbing up your ladder. Right to the left of that, we have our backup camera that has one way audio. So if your partner is spotting you, they can communicate with you and tell you which way you need to go. We have our hood here, which is locked, but we have access to all of our fluids for maintenance routine, routine maintenance. And we have a 10,000 pound hitch on the bottom. Moving around to the driver's side of the unit, our air intake located up above the belt line, giving us clean air. We have four six volt house batteries and they're wired in series and parallel. So this way it's really increasing our amp hours, our battery bank, if you would. And we have our air cleaner in there as well. That air cleaner is that whole metal casing right there. You're not changing just a filter, you're changing the whole metal assembly right there. Coming up to the next compartment, we have our 50 amp electric power cord. We have our two 12 volt starting batteries and we have our 13 gallon DEF tank. Now that DEF tank's using about two and a half percent of the fuel consumption. So it doesn't have to be filled up too often. Now into the wash bay. Right here we have our gravity fill for our potable water and our drain. Paper towel holder. We have a whole house filter. This is recommended to be changed about every 8,000 gallons. We have our water pump. So if you come out here, you need to spray off the pet's feet or something like that with our exterior shower, there's no need to go inside to turn on a water pump. It can be accessed right here. We have our city water hookup for, if you're hooking up to the post. Sandy flush. So when you clean out your black tank, we have wedged black tanks. There's an aerator basically on the back side that's gonna spray and you hook your water hose up to this and it's gonna help clean all of the uh, stuff out of your black tank. We have our low point drains. So winterizing your unit, or you need to drain everything out of your system, this is where you're gonna come do that. And if you have all these amenities, of course we're gonna need 110 for something, and they're right here as well. Our knife valves located right below, and all of this can be locked up. These next three bays, are again just continuations of that massive basement storage that we looked at on the other side we'll move up to the aqua hot 250d so as we said there's no propane on board it's all ran by either electric for light loads for our interior heat and our water heater like i say light loads will run from electric and then if it's a more demanding load that you're wanting you can flip on the diesel burner and that's gonna provide unlimited hot water and all the heat you need for the interior of your unit. Uh, very easy to maintain. If you're not using your unit, maybe once a month, come out here, turn your thermostat on, turn your diesel burner on to where it's requesting heat and just let the heat kick on, make sure it's working. That's gonna keep all of your, uh, your filters and your nozzles clean. And then once a year, change your nozzle, your fuel filter, and your oil filter. And that's basically all you gotta do. The Aqua Hot's an amazing feature. Um, dual fuel fills, like we said. Next compartment, we have a little bit of storage. Right up top here, we have two air chucks. One of them is gonna be to put air in your unit. For some reason, you need to get air into your ping tanks. We can hook an airline up to it. The one below is going to give you air. So if you need to get a little air into your tire, you can use that. If the kids have toys that they're playing with at the campground, you can plug it in there. If you're trying to get firewood, uh, the little chips of firewood out of your basement, anything like that, you can hook an airline up to there and spray out all of your basement compartments. And we'll go inside. I did forget to mention right underneath our hood we have a 6000 watt cummins onan generator 
Before we look at all the interior features, wireless units all closed up in travel mode, let's look at the access to all of our amenities. So right behind the driver's seat, we have full access to our refrigerator, great access to the adaptable table. The full kitchen is accessible, microwave, stove, sink, plenty of room for the kids to be sitting down here playing their gaming system while dad's driving. Moving back to the restroom, the door opens inward, so we have full access to the bathroom. And the bedroom, we have access to the rear bed. Let's open this unit up and check a look, take a look at some of the features. Now that it's all opened up, we'll look at some of the interior features. But before we do that, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are just getting into the 2022 models, so there's going to be a lot of videos coming up in the near future. By subscribing, hitting the bell icon, you'll be the first one notified of that before they even leave our manufacturing facility. And plus, utilize that comment section down below. If you got any questions, I personally read them and I try to answer almost every one of them. So utilize that, we'll do our best to answer those for you. Now back to the unit. Now this unit is the Anchor Interior Decor and we paired it with the Heritage Hardwood Cabinetry. And now there are three other cabinet options as well. We have the Winter Fog, which is gonna be a white painted cabinetry as well, but it's gonna have a gray glazing on it and gray inlays, looks really nice. The other options are going to be English Chestnut. That's a brand new uh, wood choice for 2022. And we also have a carryover from 2021, which is our Greystone. Let's jump up to the front of the unit and take a look at the captain's area. So up here in the cockpit, as we talked about the large panoramic windshield, giving you a great view of what's in front of us. Plus we have our mobile eye collision mitigation. That sensor gives us a lot of safety features such as lane departure it watches for pedestrians anything coming in from the side too too fast it's going to detect for you it'll watch for speed zones and you can set alarms so if you feel comfortable driving 10 mile an hour of the speed limit you can set that to alert you if you go anything over 10 mile an hour of the speed limit and plus again the collision avoidance as we talked about right here is going to be our display for that mobile eye so all of our lane departure everything's gonna be displayed right there on the left side of it we have our mirror adjustments our red light here that goes on and off is for our heated mirrors we have a digital dash which a lot of these gauges are customizable that way you can display which gauges are important to you one thing I like about Freightliner and the dashes we ha have here at Fleetwood is everything's placed ergonomically correct. So shifting our unit is right here on the paddle. Just by turning the knob up, we're going to drive reverse. If we need to apply our engine brake, it's right here. There's no more searching around looking for your engine brake. It's all conveniently located on the paddle. And we have dual monitors. So this way when we're in congested areas driving, we have our navigation that's displayed on our main screen and we have our cameras on the right so when we're in them congested areas i can see when my turn's coming up and plus i can see what's beside me if you do not have dual monitors you have to pick at that time which one you want to display we have all of our ac controls right here and the switches down below we have our front blind it's a power shade we have our auxiliary start so if those two starting batteries that we talked about in the back are dead and we want to use the power from our four six volt house batteries to start our unit we hold this down and no it's not it doesn't lock down so if you're using this we have to hold it down and start the coach and then when we're done we release it we have our generator start we have the park feature for our radio and we have keyless entry as well Coming up above, we have our doors on a slide because we have our drop down queen bed up above. So with the doors sliding, we can still access them with the bed. We have our satellite controls and our TV lockout. All of our speakers are built in beside the TV. And on this side, we have our Wi-Fi Ranger. So if you need to connect to the campground's Wi-Fi, if we're boosting any Wi-Fi signal and you need to connect to hit your Wi-Fi Ranger, your password, your network ID, and everything's gonna be located right there. 
Moving back, we have, as we mentioned, the drop down bed. This is on a key. It's on a, it has a 500 pound limit. The drop down bed is a great feature. It's tucked up, looks nice, out of the way. And then if you do need that additional sleeping spot, you just put the key on and run it down. Again, 500 pound capacity. It's a very stable platform. Kids are up there jumping around. You don't have to worry about them damaging the system. It stops before it hits the seats. So that way you don't have to worry about your captain chairs being damaged. And they do have full access to the TV as well while they're up there. Now back in the kitchen, we have the residential rural pool refrigerator located right behind the captain's chair. Great access to that. And as while we're on the appliances, we'll stick with the stainless steel convection microwave. We have a two burning flat top induction cooktop and a nice, deep, beautiful stainless steel farm style sink. And as far as storage on the galley side, we have cabinets up above, all Ozite lined, adjustable shelving. Down below, we have a little storage here. We have storage underneath the sink. That's a huge area. Probably could go with a little larger trash can there. Great spot for your covers for the, your sink. And we have four drawers right here and a large one down below. Good spot for those larger pans. And if you need more countertop space, we have a pull out peninsula here with three drawers in it as well. Now, as far as pantry, this is a pull out pantry we have here. And right beside that, we have our precision circuits multiplex. This is a centralized location where you can access a lot of features of your motor home such as your slide out boxes. You can check all of your tank levels right here, set your ACs, set your auto gen start, open up your vents, program your lights, all that stuff can be done right here. And a neat feature there is a lot of that can be accessed by your smart device. So after we prepare a nice meal with this lavish kitchen, now we need to come over to the Fleetwood exclusive adaptable table. It's been redesigned a little bit for 2022. As you can see, we have another step up. What this is doing is allowing us to put our exterior TV on the backside. Plus it gives us a little bit more storage up top. We have the next step up. You pull these out, it locks in place, and then we can turn our table to a company four. We have two fold up chairs that's in the rear wardrobe. So at night when you're having that nice dinner, we have seating for four. And then when everybody's gone, or if you've got some work to do in the morning, you can sit right here, have a nice view. Good thing about the credenza is it gives you a ton of storage options as well. So underneath it, we have six drawers and two cabinets as well. 110 USB outlets are located all throughout there. So charging your devices is not gonna be an issue. Moving back to the living area, we have a 111 inch sofa here. Both sides has a, uh, our inverter is probably off, but we have a motion power lounge at each side. Right up above, we have more storage, all European hidden hinges, all metal hardware, all mitered corners. And in this one, we have our HDMI matrix, bo matrix box. So by having the matrix box, we can have the DVD player here hooked up to our matrix box, and then we can display that on any TV we want. So if we want the main TV, the bedroom TV, exterior TV, the only thing we have to do is select this button and it'll cycle through which TV you need to play that on. It is pre-wired for all of our satellite dishes that are up here. That is what the coax cables are for. So basically it's your entertainment distribution center. Directly across from that, we have our accent wall, LED TV. We have a sound bar 
and a fireplace again runs off electric 5300 btus of heat right here into the bathroom again the door opens inward which is makes access very easy porcelain toilet storage up above all surfex linings we have the medicine cabinet that's directly above the sink stainless steel uh, sink as well then move back into the bedroom we have the articulating bed the articulating bed's great for in the morning when you're watching tv have a cup of coffee just uh you know get that chance to wake up before you get out of bed and get the day going another great thing about the encore adjustable bed is it allows us to put a huge wardrobe space on the opposing side here so we have two symmetrical hanging wardrobe space on each side of the television that's an led tv and we have a ton of storage on the back side of it right up top of our cabinets we have a nice prep space here but a neat thing about the design of this prep space is this drawer looks like a false door and it's locked we can't get it open but we have a magnetic key that's provided and then we have access to a nice organized section here any valuables anything you want to keep away from the kids or anybody else that may be in your unit you can use that take your key and it doesn't open up anymore right below we have again symmetrical three drawers for each side and right in the middle we have a side-by-side -side washer and dryer so that way we can wash your clothes and dry them at the same time moving back into the master bathroom we have a porcelain toilet nice large um, window right up above and that's emergency exit window as well and a ton of space for our linens coming on to the sink we have a nice top mounted porcelain sink a medicine cabinet that's located up above and two symmetrical storage places on each side of that you can see the symmetrical theme throughout this whole unit everything is very symmetrical on each side two drawers on each side and then again more storage underneath and as far as the shower goes we have a glass shower door that opens up we have the skylight right up above for those taller folks they got plenty of headroom i can almost do jumping jacks in here the measurements on this shower is 48 by 24 it has a built-in seat so plenty of room in here to take a shower comfortably last thing i really want to point out on the interior of this unit we have our tarquette flooring but the whole floor is flat and that's unique to the industry not every diesel not many diesels have it and that's available on both frontier floor plans so typically you're gonna have a step up on that rear master bathroom or in the bedroom where it steps up to cover the engine and with the frontier the xcr chassis and plus that freedom sport foundation eliminates all of that makes your unit look a lot bigger and it brings everybody in the motorhome on the same level so that wraps up the walkthrough on the brand new frontier 36 ss and don't forget to check out the 34 gt video and this particular unit is Iron Man exterior graphic. There are three other options to choose from, and that is loyalty, granite, and morning coffee. So make sure, again, you subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's going to be plenty more videos coming out soon. Plus, utilize the comment section. We really encourage it. Um, I personally read every one of those comments and do my very best to answer those for you. And if you want to be the first one to be aware of the new floor plans, go ahead and hit that bell icon as well. That way YouTube notifies you every time we post a video. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like the 36SS and we'll see you next time.